the date for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height but big differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. And we are underway. Blocks the shot. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Olenek gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Nice kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Excellent head movement. Olenek gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. That got Olenek's attention. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. These guys are exchanging huge shots. And he gets tagged. Nice combination, Joe. Just over three minutes to go round one. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Olenek. Wow! Hit him with that overhand. Yeah, yeah these are, what did you say about my mother punches? Big straight punch. Oh! He's badly, badly hurt. Big shots! Oh! He blocks the punch. Now mixing one into the body. Under two minutes to go. And he lands another overhand here. He's actually landed several in the round, really starting to find a home for it with regularity. Yep. Olenek gets hit by that kick to the body. We have now reached the final minute of round one. Oh! Olenek's eye looks so swollen now, Joe, that I would at least ask the question, is that a fractured orbital bone? He very well might be dealing with it. That one hurt. Olenek gets hit with the overhand there. Oh! Nice punch by Olenek. Overhand punch to the head. Telegraphed, though, a little bit, Joe. It got blocked by the defense there. Round two next. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Distance control. The rest can take care of itself. You ready, baby? I know you are. It's time. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. He connects there. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. How about that shin? And he eats a kick. That cut is getting really bad. They could easily stop this fight. See the total strikes. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Inside leg kick is there. He keeps throwing that inside leg kick. Oh, oh yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's clearly hurt. That's again the experience. Oh, he's out. He's out. And just like.
like that, the fight is over. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, as far as highlights go, they don't get much prettier than that. A huge kick to end the night here tonight. He caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and that one was a no-doubter. The fight was over as soon as that foot made contact. And here's the end of the fight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. Here we see it again. Bang. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 44 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. Well, he was Australia's first UFC champion, and Robert Whitaker may just be getting going, folks. He has been an absolute force of destruction since moving back up to middleweight, and it is going to take, in all likelihood, a huge effort to knock this guy off of his current streak. A huge win for Bob Whitaker tonight.